Good evening, my personal collection of slovenly little sock puppets. How are we all doing today? More Dragon's Dogma. You know, I've weirdly quite enjoyed this game. I I didn't I didn't necessarily expect to, if I'm to be entirely honest, and yet it's kind of fun. For half village, as I recall. And look, from here. I've turned on English voices for you, you filthy gaijins, and they're awful. <laughs> the road was a long one, but here we are at last. Here we are. Oh, that's a hole. Okay, well, I probably should go down that hole. Birds! It's... There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. How does one describe this game? It's like Monster Hunter had sex with Skyrim and then ejaculated all over Bethesda's interpretation of Fallout. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's more or less what I'd, I'd probably describe it as. And it gives you this weirdly appealing, yet also in the same way kind of undeniably bland thing that just kind of makes me want to play it. <laughs> See? <laughs> this is one of the divides between me and other people, apparently. See, other people we would be play Power Wash Simulator. And they're like, oh, this is very zen and very calming. I play Power Wash Simulator. And I'm just like, that. this is incredibly stressful. I hate every moment of this. Then people play this and go like, well, yeah, it's a little bit bland. A lot of microtransactions here. Meanwhile, I, I, I haven't even encountered the microtransactions yet. Uh, not have I run into any sort of problems with performances, or... Or bugs, or disconnects, or having my goddamn saves deleted. Thank you, Rock. Weirdly, I had no problems with the game at all. My primary issues are the controls are dumb, because they decided to, you know, just smack the console controls onto a PC, which was silly. And the camera! The incredibly antagonistic camera. Which is always a little bit too close. Like a jealous lover, never quite letting you go. Ever. Always right up into your neck. Hey, duck. So, I mean, this is, this is uncomfortably close. This is... This is Emma Watson snuggling with you too com comfortably close. Like, you could have the hottest soup model in the world being this close, and you'd still be a little bit like, please, could you... Over could you go over there? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. Seriously, no, space, way, woman. Like, the way he snuggles into your neckline as if it's about to give you a nice, deep, slobbering ear wash. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. Part of me almost kind of wanted to say this would work better in first person. I mean, I couldn't possibly get all that much closer to the screen, even if it was in first person after all. Maybe they could just, you know, go full ham and just make it Skyrim, but with companion characters and a slightly more involved combat system. For I will give it that, the combat system is more involved than Skyrim. And the whole climbing on over monsters thing is cute. It's an idea I quite like. I haven't actually utilized it much so far, mind you, because, you know, I played an archer and this guy who... whose only chance at using the climbing system is to hit the monster with the butt end of his weapon, rather than, you know, the sharp parts. Though even that, if you manage to climb all the way up onto the front of a cyclops, you can hit it repeatedly in the eyeball with the butt end of your sword. Ooh, that's several of you, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that is indeed several of you. Maybe they could just go full Dark Souls, almost, because, I mean, they already fillet the Dark Souls-style combat with the whole... No, if you swing your sword, you're going to be locked into that stance for the next 17 hours thing. An 
exemplary performance. Indeed. It was enough to make one pity our foe. And so, Jard, uh, won't deleting your video screw your metrics? Why not try one or two videos and go... Oh, hello there. Have you come to save us? Forgive me. I cannot seem to walk of my own accord. Would you aid me in reaching the entrance? Sure. I don't remember if I'm here to save you, but seeing as you're here and you're talking to me, I presume I'm here to save you. But, uh... Yeah, please. Oh, hi there. Also, I do love this, by the way. Like, this whole... The general kind of take that they've gotten on companions, I really enjoy. The idea that a companion who has been in an area before you can actually, like, show you the way to hidden treasures and entrances and uh, quest objectives is really, really fucking cool, and I love the everlasting shit out of that. I mean, this is basically what the thing that I've been uh, talking about for absolute ages, right? Where I would love to see companions be built more deeply sure into we'll gaming systems nice. like this. Like, that, that, that is so cool. I love that. It's like, oh yes, the pawn you've brought, she's actually been here before, and so she's like, hey, you want to go over to this treasure? Here you go. That is, that is so cool. I love that. I love that tremendously. Again, I wish they'd done a little bit more with it, you know, like uh, giving them more than one uh, voice line for being idle or something like that. I uh, really lent into it a bit more. Honestly, AI voice acting would be fucking perfect for a game like this. You went in there to save my- I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You've done well this day. Oh, thank you. We'll see to the rest of this mess. You need not trouble yourself further. Well, uh, thank you for that, but I think there is more riches down there. Maybe a boss fight or something, so I'm gonna keep going. Unironically, the, um, is it, is it, is it Sony? Is it, is it Sony? I think it, I think it might have been Sony, uh, who was working on... AI voice acting in games, and they released uh, one like test demo in like a cyberpunky setting, where they just showed like randomly generated conversations between yourself and a handful of characters, and they were a bit stilted. You could clearly tell the AI parts in it that's very much so made to not offend and just kind of generalistically appeal to you, etc. Um, and the fact that it doesn't really follow the logic of the world, right? Because you're talking in a restaurant, and you go like, Hey, restaurant owner, wow, I've, I've been, um, I've been uh, given, like, a promotion. And the restaurant owner's like, wow, we gotta celebrate this here, have, have some free stuff on the house. I'm like, um... Unless you've been frequently filleting this guy secretly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she brought him over and threw him at the other sword in. Okay, that was kind of cool. Um, but what was on about? Oh yes, unless you've been frequently filleting this guy under the table for the last few days, he's probably not gonna be like, oh, cool, here, have some free stuff because it's your birthday, you know? But it's because the AI is literally programmed to make you like it. That is the entire, like, base prefix of the AI. It is, please make human being, uh, like you. That is, like, its base programming, right? And they definitely- oh god, I've never hit that attack even once. They definitely need to arrive at a point where they kind of mix in the slightly more human sides of this, if you get my drift, uh, to make it actually realistic. It's kind of like, um, you know in The Matrix, where the, uh, the, the robot is talking about the humans, and like, okay, uh, at first we made, like, the perfect world for you humans. We made literal paradise. But every time we did, you would rebel. Entire crops were lost again and again until we realized you weirdo fucking humans actually want discord. You actually want conflict. You actually want some people to suffer. Like, you want all of this shit. And so instead of creating paradise, they recreated the real world, you know, to the human, uh, the machine extent of it, right? It's that. But, despite these uh, generalistic complaints about it, 
it's a very interesting technology that I think has a real place in gaming going forward. In fact, I do believe that it is probably genuinely actually the future of video gaming. As I've said on multiple occasions before, that uh, companions and, by extension, companion AI is going to be very, 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 very important and powerful in the evolution of games. Why can't I take some of the fish? Are these battles? Are there, are there loot inside of the eggs? Yes, there is. Okay, so I'm just not... I'm just... I'm not killing children for no purpose whatsoever. I am killing children for the purpose of gathering their skins. Alright. Oh, God. Oh. <gasps> Whee! Hope you weren't expecting mercy! <laughs> <laughs> That's a rude awakening. But anyways, they also put out a further demo of this, um, this technology. But it was to games urinalists only, which annoyed me tremendously. Oh, a sword in tail. I needed that. Um, where they apparently had, like, a full game built around it. Where you were planning out a heist, and this was meant to uh, demonstrate the versatility of the AI in game. So you could go like, okay, um, what about cameras? And the AI would go, like, oh yeah, no, sure, there are cameras here, here, and here, right? Uh, what about escape paths? Oh yeah, we could go over here. Um, you know, what about its disguises? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And it would come up with disguises and stuff, right? Really cool and really interesting stuff. This game would benefit so much from that. Like, take a series of... Ooh, that looks dangerous. Um, take a series of generalistic happenstances. Say, for example, oh, there's a, tre there's a treasure chest over there, and you want the companion to be like, oh, hey, treasure, over here, yay. All right. Oh, hi. Evening. This, uh... This looks like one of those ambushes I've heard so much about. Maybe you could come in, uh... Right here? Huh? Shoot? Owls? Oh? No? Okay. I can't climb that. That looked like something I could climb. I can't. Uh... Yeah. There we go. And then you simply just tell the AI, right, I need you to uh, do a voice call that calls attention for the player to a treasure. Nice and simple. AI is more than able to, uh, to generate responses for that. And so one time it says, hey, player, there's a, there's a treasure chest over here, look at it. And then the next time it goes like, wow, I wonder what's over there. And then the third time it goes, hmm. There's something glinting over there, etc. And obviously, this will eventually also get repetitive because there is only so many ways you can say, ah, gold over there in the darkness. But it would nevertheless introduce a far greater degree of variations to simple communications like that. This is not our first time here. Remarkable how the route taken can. Alter one's perception of a place. Rather than simply just the same voice line repeated ad infinitum. Ooh, another woke stone. Great. Water, five for two dollars. Yes, go full humanity. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Why not? Now, Capcom is a, is a company large enough to the point where... Uh, you know, maybe we could expect them to actually just record a couple of extra. Exceptional rarity. I cannot wait to tell my own master of its existence. What? Gold? Exceptional rarity? Are you kidding me? I am carrying like a hundred thousand gold pieces on me right now. I, I'm not, I'm not sure gold really is so exceptionally rare there, honey. Uh, can I not go through there? It does not look like I can go through there. I mean, there might be a way that my retardedly poor camera is merely just hiding from me. I mean, 
In any normal universe, that looks climbable. And indeed, it is climbable. What about the iron gate behind it? Is that climbable? Uh, perhaps not so much. Is that... Is that really just the... The end of the dungeon? Huh. Really? <laughs> Seems... Okay, huh. Alright. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I expected something a bit more from the, uh... The eerily illuminated cave, you know? I expected maybe a monster or something, or, uh... A large encounter, or a treasure chest, or something. But no! It's just a pile of rubble and a closed gate. Okay. If you say so, video game. But for smaller studios, definitely, like AI voice acting, would absolutely be the way to go. Uh, now, we can certainly argue about the potential damages that this could do to the industry as well, mind you, because it's not all good. Obviously, as AI gets more advanced, we are going to see a lot more people lose their jobs. <laughs> oh my god, are we going to see a lot of people lose their jobs? Oh, oh boy. Hmm. Seriously. Whilst I maintain that the roboticization of industry can actually be given a very minimal... That corpse moved. A very minimalistic impact on employment, since the goal of industrialization of... of uh, the robotos roboticization, English, of industry, is not actually to replace jobs, it is to increase the potential of labor. E.g. allow us to create more shit with fewer people and make it thus easier to keep things uh, profitable in an age of increasing costs, increasing resource costs, increasing energy, etc. And so the aim of adding robots to a factory... Oh, hey. Oh, God, no, you... Ah, mm. Oh, God. Ah, oh, mm. ah, oh. Ah, mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Ah, hmm. Right, I'll let chat decide. I, I feel like this is not worth a woke stone, but I'll let chat decide if we're going to revive this uh, random, I presume, NPC arriving around here. The goal should not be to replace an already experienced employee. It should be to enhance that employee in terms of optimization. But when it comes to stuff like coding and voice acting and, like, writing stuff i i don't i don't see how this wouldn't replace people like if you had two vo if you had like five voice actors on staff right and you've got an ai that now does voices similarly good to them what would be the reason for keeping them on staff i guess you could argue that they could be the the people directing the AI, you know, turn them into like, um, kind of movie directors in a way, I suppose. We're like, okay, uh, say this line, but with a bit more feeling or emphasize this more, I guess. Yeah, yeah, touch up, I guess, editorial duties. Like, no, no, AI, you fucked up this line of code or this quest line makes no sense. Why are you doing this? Sixty-eight percent for yes. It seems chat likes this person. Very well. Revive him we shall. Use Wakestone. <laughs> a nice effect at least. The townspeople depend on me. I've no love of conflict, me. Is, is, what's that? Is that all? I trust Orts well, sir. Uh, well, um, uh, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't necessarily care or notice all that much that he's back alive. Okay, well. Is that too high, me thanks. 
It's <laughs> very... That's, that's great. That's very, uh, very filled with gratitude right there. Good. Uh, we just wanted you to waste your wake stones as Albert. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Chad is mean like that sometimes. Maybe the guy at the top of this will be like, Oh, you, you used that incredibly precious relic on that render? Oh, no, he's gone. Okay, well. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sure somebody will reward me. I hope. <laughs> Hold, sir. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Oh, I said. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. How can you speak with it like that, with a mouth like that? Mm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village, but it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past, thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bask of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah, but mayhap they needn't at all. You are the Arisen, I. Could we trouble you to aid us in our hour of need? Please, sir, do something, anything about the Saurians infesting our village. The bask of Saurians has made its nest within the village, but not for long, if we have any say in the matter. We need not shrink from danger. We've the strength to prevail over anything. All right. Uh, Arisen. Right, like a bunch of monsters have attacked our village. Maybe you could help. As this runs away. Like, I see you're an RPG protagonist. Surely you'll come to our rescue. But yeah, I mean, uh, I literally don't have any choice. This is the only exit from this village, so... Uh, I suppose I'm helping, whether I like to or not. Do you suppose that was funny? Oh, I suppose we'll be wanting to report back. Is the deed done, good arisen? Oh, thank you, thank you. What do you mean, is the deed done? We shall all be able to return to our homes at last. I can hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other villagers. I dare say we'll have this place livable again ere long. I cannot thank you enough. Long will you be known as a friend to our village. If you happen to pass by, do come visit us, won't you? I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the dragon's attack. For your sake, as well as ours, we'll do our utmost to see the village restored. Okay. A fine job, Bob. Sure. Band. What say we visit again anon to see how the village fares in the aftermath? Uh, is, is this the video game introducing me to the idea that this is a living world and stuff and that the village will totally be alive again if I come back later? Uh, because they couldn't possibly have fought off the literal three lizardmen. Okay, somebody needs to look it up. Is a bask of lizards... Is that... Does that actually mean a group of lizards? Come on, somebody, somebody. Because I know many things have dumb names like that. Like a murder of crows, for example, just means several crows. Well, at least on the bright side, I did and get all of the... to notice we've all got different vocations. It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. And there goes an excellent example <laughs> of my... Uh... I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. A treasure chest? Whoa! And there goes a wonderful example of my, uh, maybe we needed a bit more voice acting in video games. As I'm pretty sure that is, I, I don't, I've lost count of how many times that particular voice line has been repeated. But suffice to say, I'm getting tired of it. I am at least very glad that there is no, like, carry your burdens in this game. I can imagine if this game talked to me every time I was overloaded, I'd be very sick of that response. 
Emergent vitality. Not compared. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. What attack? Swing sword the enemy repeatedly until they stop moving? Hell yeah, to be fair. If you do master the ability to swing sword repeatedly until opposition stops moving, that... That is a pretty fine attack. One can't really argue. Oh. Is that the treasure chest? No, that's... that's a fire. Okay, Perhaps never mind then. this will seem of little consequence, but... Different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have beastrons for allies. Oh. Now there's a thought. Imagine that. Have you ever run across a master that preferred to have humans for allies? I mean, you know, somebody fucking normal. No? This does like look like the place where a particularly churlish developer might put something valuable. Except not in this case. Hmm. So that treasure chest you were mentioning. Could you perhaps be a... A pinch more specific as to its location? I don't like being this close to the water. Considering the, you know, monsters. Alright, well, I got the opportunity to harvest a bunch of grapes, I guess, at least. That's something. Hey, what are those? Okay, well, that's murderable, but first. Treasure chest? That does not look like a treasure chest. That looks like a dungeon, if anything. Okay, well, before we wander into the dungeon... Uh, eat the fish. Discard. Imagine if... Oh, that was not what I intended to do. Imagine if this video game had a mechanic like, oh, I don't know, uh, drag and drop, perhaps, you know? So instead of doing this, I could simply just... You know, drag all of the things over and uh, drop them all simultaneously into my companion's inventory. Imagine that. Imagine if the video game had basic controls optimized for mouse and keyboard. I mean, honestly, I feel like those would be basic controls optimized for a controller too. Like, what part of that would somehow be inconvenient for the controller peasants? I just press down on the gamepad or whatever weird, anachronistic, outdated piece of equip equipment on the filthy, savage peasants over on that obviously inferior piece of hardware are tied to instead of this. I swear to God, like, unironically, unfucking ironically, com like, console interfaces have not evolved since the days of fucking Final Fantasy, okay? Not at all. Not at all. There has been no innovation, no advancement, no ease of use, no, no, no refinement whatsoever. Oh, hi there. Seem our fight is not yet done. We've a knack for drawing the enemy arisen. No problem. Yeah. This is the problem with consoles. It's the pro problem with console peasants, too. We need to reject the console peasants. Embrace something else, anything else. Fortunately for me, you're very slow. In fact, hell on. Ah, a fist bump. 
That is a slight variation upon the uh, the high five, so thank you, video game. I did ask for that. Another wake stone shard, good. Tarring arrows, uh, quenching syrup, putrid gold tooth, three hundred gold. I I suppose I'll take it. Do you have a putrid gold tooth too? Yes, you do. Thank you. Inventory quality of life mechanics for two ninety nine. I'd fucking pay it, at that point. Oh god, it's getting dark again. I swear to Jesus, the days in this world, they last for about 15 seconds, I feel like. And then it's dark again. That Cyclops despawn. It did, didn't it? Yes. Oh, no, there he is. All right. Want to go fight a Cyclops in the dark? Why the fuck not? Oh, Gubberies. You know, the Gubberies in this world are actually rather intelligent, you yeah? They can use camouflage, they can hide. Is that a... Oh. That is indeed. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Right, this is getting more complicated now. Yeah, this is getting decidedly more complicated now. In fact, this is getting kind of also awful now, because, uh... I don't know if I can even hurt the ghosts anymore, now they don't have, like, magic fire on everything. Uh, I can hurt them, just not a lot. Oh, hi there. Um, perhaps this was ill-conceived. Oh, you shot his eyeball out. Nice. Yeah. I. Is this gonna hit anything? Yes, it is. Nice. Ah, oh, no, no, bad ghost, bad ghost. Go away. All right. Well, I mean, we're fighting ghosts and zombies and stuff and the Cyclops and it's dark and it's awful and it's terrible. Uh, at least we haven't drawn over all the ghosts. That is like the one positive thing that is currently happening here. Okay, you're really slow, so how about I just... No, no. Oh, you, you can do that, can you? Okay. For some reason, I didn't expect the zombies to be able to grapple me. I don't know. I don't know why, actually. It makes entirely sense that they would grapple me. That is like the one attack that zombies have. Okay, well, you're dead now. Uh, how did I do that attack again? That's a good idea. That's how I do that. Right up its anus. And again, punish its asshole. Punish it. Punish its ass. Don't let it stand up. Punish its asshole again. Right up its poop. There you go. Splendid. This fight is not too Now I can report a successful hunt. Oh. Bad idea. Oh, that's a. Wait, that's a thing you can do. You can you can give quests and rewards. Oh, that's cool. I had no idea. I, w I <laughs> Okay, another piece of uh, uh, criticism I have for the video game. It it doesn't tell me quite as much as I might want. At the very least, not in a way that I managed to absorb. I'm I am sure there was a a written. There being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? Yes. Is there an opportunity for me to say yes? Okay, well, you're stuck, so never mind. See, I'm sure the video game technically, theoretically told me in a fucking... More foes. 
Oh, hi, it's Skeletons. In a, in a text prompt or something at some point where it was like, Hey, uh, this is a mechanic that you could engage with if you so choose. Probably at a point where I was currently annoyed at the video game. I am sure there was a bonfire around here somewhere. And so I did not actually absorb the information at any point. Whereas what the game should have done is have a, like, teaching pet. Yes, all, every game needs a teaching pet, okay? That is not a bonfire. That is just a uh, weirdly smoking waterfall. Okay. Right, very well. Every video game requires a teaching pet. A little stupid flattery thing that waffles around your head and points at stuff and goes like, Hey, look at this! This is a video game mechanic. Wouldn't you like to engage with it? And I can then ignore it or get annoyed at it, as I so choose. Use the go-to prompt. What, go? The go prompt? Really? Oh, nice. Thank you, Chaz. Another thing I wish the video game might have pointed out for me. Again, every video game requires a dumb, com a dumb companion to whittle around your head and tell you things constantly. See, there's a difference between holding your hands and teaching you things. That's the thing. Like, Kenshi. Kenshi is a beautiful example of this. Kenshi does not hold your hand at any point whatsoever. In fact, your first death in Kenshi is likely to be at the hands of a bunch of random vagabonds wandering the wild, starving, that just jump your dick and disgustingly beat you to death, and steal all of your food and leave you broken and bleeding in the desert somewhere. As you begin to wonder, how do I bandage myself? <laughs> that is the, the most likely cause of event in Kenshi, right? Ow, dogs! But at least that game then tells you, like, Oh, hey! All of your limbs appear to have been broken in a very, very one-sided military engagement. Here's how to fix that. God, Kenshi, Kenshi is a good game. Kenshi is a very good game. I just don't know if it is something that anyone would ever wish to uh, watch. Ever. <laughs> Oh god, Kenshi, because Kenshi is just a game that takes you a million years to play. And that's if that's if you're being speedy about it. That's if you're tryharding it. Alright, I think it is time to make camp. Scraggle Beast. I thought I had some aged scrag of beast. Hmm, alright. There we go, companions. There'll be one lamb chop. It'll be divided between the three of us. <laughs> not much of a meal, but what so we get, get some rest. I'm not sure I can face a trek with my belly so full. I see Chad is immediately like, yeah, I think we would watch Kenshi. I don't think you would. I don't think you fucking would, Chad. I genuinely don't think you would. That is one of those autismo games that takes forever to play. And God, oh God, it is such a, it's such a fucking weird game. It is, it is such a fucking weird game. Like, it's the kind of game where you'd have to watch me in my camp for, like, six hours, meticulously training and playing with my fucking dolls, basically. It's like, you character, you go over there, and you stand over there and pretend to be at the bar. <laughs> then I giggle at myself. That is something I actually used to do. Oh, God. Okay. Some of you may know a very old game called Dungeon Siege. Dungeon Siege was a really cool game. 
that managed to do something that very, very few games have ever managed. And that is immerse me in a way where I voluntarily and without any prompting whatsoever engaged in role play. Because Dungeon Siege, when... Oh, is that? No, the bridge isn't destroyed. Um, in Dungeon Siege, you would have these really long areas in between villages. And they were just long enough. Just long enough to the point where you could play through them, like in a, in a sitting, basically. But just long enough, too, that when you got through them, you were feeling tired, you know? You felt like you'd been on a fucking journey. And so when you saw lights off in the distance, you were like, oh my god, yes, a town! Okay, you're shot burning a little bit early there, Pont. <laughs> still a dog, still a dog. It's like, oh my god, lights in the distance, yes! And you'd, you'd go and you'd get supplies, and you'd put your dudes at the bar, you'd spread them out, you'd, uh, you'd soak in some of the story, you'd get the local news, you'd get new weapons and armor, you'd get that more potions, you'd sell all your stuff, if you'd I level up. Ah. Might is beyond any it it managed to make the act of it. arriving at a new place better than in any other video game. Any other video game. It was so, it was so cool. It was so cool. Too bad they never made a single good Dungeon Siege ever again. And let's not get started on Space Siege, shall we? Oh my heavens. That was, that was a crime. That was an unironic crime against humanity. Oof, fuck me. Oh, Space Siege. Hey. Space fucking Siege. <laughs> you might get a weird crowd from the search engine optimization of Goblin and Inflation in the title. Don't worry, I am extraordinarily permissive of strange fetishes, okay? If you like to jerk it to goblins being filled with... I don't even know what, uh, then more power to you, you know? Filled up like little balloons and float away. I believe that was Vorsh's excuse for the bestiality porn and the lollies as well. Hey, come on, guys. I thought it was goblins being... <laughs> I thought... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, ironically, though, that was his excuse. Listen, guys, I thought it was goblin porn. <laughs> ah, hey, never mind. Uh, no, I didn't start a new character, by the way. If you're, if you're wondering why I'm using a sword, you can change vocations in this game. And uh, knowing that I was going to go up against Lizardmen, who were proven remarkably resilient to arrows, I decided to try out the two-handed warrior. And I quite like it. I don't mind it. Two-handed warrior is quite cute. It's a neato cheeto little profession. I might max this one out and then return to Archer, because I didn't mind Archer either. It's just... The, um, the necessary reliance on the aiming system in a console game is... Mmm, mm, indeed. But no, chat, I, I... Okay. If you really want to, chat, we can do, like, a funding goal for Kenshi. We, we can do that. Uh, but we might uh, scratch another task off our list while we're here. If we I do not comments, believe it would be a good series. We'll make our way there in time. As to whether it will be sooner or later, that is for the Arisen to decide. That is indeed for me to decide. I am the boss. Right, I must report to my black comrade. That I have completed his silly tasks, and that I am now a man worthy of recognition. For I have killed several dozens lizardmen and dog things. Goblins. And honestly, I probably killed a dozen cyclops by now. Surely that should be We've come all this way, only to find ourselves unawaited. Perhaps our timing was awry. Waiting around doesn't seem like to do us much good. What could we be missing here? Where is my pet black man? I thought my pet black man would be here. Welcome. Is he hiding from me? 
Welcome Hello, disgusting creature. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? I mean, okay, let's pass the time, I guess. I mean, my pawns literally told me that I it was pointless to pass the time here, but... It's like, what could we be missing? I don't know. The giant Idris Elba can't possibly be that like difficult to, to uh, find, right? Hail, friend. I have an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week, with no one slated to mind the house in my stead. Fear not, I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't- I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. Sound appealing? Then come on by and ha- Uh, sure. <laughs> That's- uh, I presume that is the video game teaching me that there's a housing system in-game. Because, I don't know, it seems a bit weird. Uh, hello there, random stranger! Would you take- would you care to live in my house for a while? I- Okay. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Uh... Okay, I don't mind that one. Noel Breaker? Oh. Oh my god. A straight up thrust in the junk. Alright, a parry button. Alright, I like the idea of a parry button. Whether or not I'll get used to using it, that's... An entirely different question. Okay, chain of blows. Timing skills! Yay! Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Yes, a whole one. Always a pleasure. Uh, I still haven't found my black man. Black man? You're not black. Quest markers, video game. Quest markers, seriously. Huh? Oh. Why should Beastron pay more for the same goods? It's because you're a weird and disgusting freak uh, species, that's why. You should pay more for the same goods because you're fucking weird looking. Entirely unreasonable to me. Okay, where? Where is giant black man? Well, the video game gave me a clue as to where giant black man is. Uh, it's time to report back to Captain Brandt. Uh, no. No, the, the video game will give me no clue. Okay. Can I lean on the table and just wait for him here? I have to search him out? Is he hiding? Did he, he, did he decide that would be funny? It's like, I know I told you to come back and report to me here at any time, but... I got bored, so I decided to hide in the outhouse toilet. But why? Uh, why not? Again, video game. There's a difference between hand-holding and simply just not informing the player of what is expected of him.
Hello? Does anyone Service live here? Citizenship. Do you mind if I rummage through your house in search of a big black man? God damn it. Okay. Well, people are beginning to spawn in. Uh, should I just wait to hear? Is that you? No, your ears are too large. All right, well, let's... Let's just wait some more, then. Always a pleasure. Oh, there you are. Yes, it was just a question of waiting for long enough. Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? You must speak over here, though. I know I just called you Your Majesty right in front of the weird beastern woman, but secrecy demands we step step over here. If we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim. As a true arisen. Swifting so breath. Arch, are you a crimson merchant, a dealer of blush? Fix the rogue trader video. Mm, what did I wonder? You've done a fine job culling those monsters, Your Majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Disa can no longer deny your presence. And here, it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. Our task is there is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. For some time now, t'was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and t'would be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Could you come over here? Where? Oh. Yeah. All right, infiltrate the masquerade. I like it. Where are you going? We're here. What? Oh, <laughs> the, the quest. Oh, I see. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time. But till then, farewell. Ah, uh, all right. Sure, strange woman. I'll live in your house. Why not? I'm all for camping. But solid walls are a joy that can't be beat. And ours for a full week at no charge. What a steal. Tis as you say. I do appreciate the fact that they try to do the old timey uh yes, the old timey it's voices. It's an important duty in its own right. Yes, it is. Never mind the fact that there is only one bed. Come on, you'll either sleep on the floor or you'll get real close and comfortable.
Uh, I found left many treasures unclaimed. Be unlocked doors. Fortune doesn't fear me, but there's always next time. Oh, an apple a morning type. Thank you. Put all in storage. Uh, Deacon, I guess? Deacon Attics Unith. Set a new pawn quest. Okay. Uh, a Cyclops, I guess? Uh, set reward. Well, I guess I'll just pass on the stuff I already got, I guess. 10,000 gold that I got from that, so I'll give that to somebody else. I was incautious in my travels this time. A horde of goblins got the better of me, if you can believe it. A good sleep does wonders. That is a cute idea. And I do, of course, expect all of you little shits to uh, rent out Dommy Mommy all the time. Always. And give me lots of things. Lots of apples. I desire apples. Countless apples. Use her, chat. Use her now. And use her often as well. You may even indeed use her in that way, if you so choose. But do be careful, she does bite. Cthulian Athan, is it just me or is this house quest identical to the previous game? Or did they at least change some dialogue? I don't know, I haven't played the previous game, so. Bart is Applejack fan confirmed? Uh, Applejack. Applejack. Oh, pony. Of, of course it's ponies. Why would it not be ponies? Uh, by frequenting her dwelling for a week. Okay. Uh, yep, sure. Hunt for the jaded orb. Pray for Morris. Of Roger. Roger's well being. Okay, yeah, that was that thing. Okay. I'm just... Okay, I guess this is my next quest line then. Why? But Perhaps it's you'll learn aught of this scoundrel who would claim your title if you attend the palace masquerade. Onward to Burnworth Castle. Alright, but didn't the video barred from entering the palace, but nothing shall keep me from escorting you to the gates. And that is all well and good, but I think the big black man told me something that I was needing like a fucking disguise or something. Uh, I'm his first dress in formal raiment and donna mask. Well, if you insist. Okay. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Formal raiment. Is that... Welcome to Bjorn's armor and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Do you perchance sell formal raiments? Sell this stuff for no money whatsoever, in essence. Um, a healing spell. You know, that's kind of useful. I'll keep that. Well, it takes more damage from ranged attacks from behind. You know what? No. I don't want it. Featherlight Pelter. Screw that nonsense. So if we check the price, just remember. Uh, formal attire? Tribal brace? That does not sound like it. Ranger's vest? Scale jacket? Magician's? Zerger's gown? Animistist? Voyager's regal cloak? Well, but misers die early deaths. Hope to see you again. Nothing there. Need anything? 
fairy stone. 10,000 gold. Jesus Christ. Waking powder, uh, lantern, lantern oil. I actually do need that. Give me that. Explorer camping, savage extract, marcher's helmet. Unremarkable, but functional. Oh. Curtling, courtling? Formal. <laughs> no. 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 No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't, no, I don't think so, no. Yeah. By again soon. I don't think so. Not, not for even a second. That's about, I, I don't even know, what would that be? That would be like, close to a hundred pounds of gold or something? Well Jesus. Here, eh? Right, I'm hoping that it'll be an alternative way of acquiring that. That is, uh, that is mildly ridiculous. Am I? Is there a Minotaur in? Alright, sure, uh, why not? Okay, well I do need more Minotaur horns, so... Off I go. Hello, Mr. Minotaur. My, my. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd uh, and... Hi! Good. Who are you? <laughs> Why are you interrupting my fight with the Minotaur? I am an agent of a sort. I see. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. I am very confused. But I suppose that job's over, now you've found me out. So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. What? Who are you? Why? Give me money. Aye, aye. You'll have your coin. That's how this works. Yeah, give me money. <laughs> Glad we understand each other. But No, the cow! No, that was... No, the minotaur was way more valuable That's than it. you! I've had enough. Clear off. And don't... But I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin, all of it, or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? Well, I may. The lad what? seemed rather ignorant of the world. What? Hasn't had anyone to show him the proper way, I'd wager. But, Minotaur! Minotaur! Did it? Oh, no, I almost killed myself there. I needed that. Okay, well, that was, uh, odd. <sighs> Alright, well, never fucking mind then. Find out what's going on. I'm uh, sure. This you have successfully confused me, chat. Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness, but I've a small favor to ask of you. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. Ah, if I believe you, but sure, this seem this seems like a quest. Here. Are you sure? Oh, many thanks. I shall repay you anon. You've my word. Somehow, I don't think I'll see that money again anytime soon. Not you again? I thought I made myself quite clear. Ah, but I've brought the gold this time. Oh, well, I. If you've got the gold, then... My thanks. I finally have what I came for. And worry not, you'll have your coin back in good time, I promise you. He claimed he would repay you in full, but surely a lad of his age cannot muster such a sum. Yeah, no, I, I more or less agree. Um, 
But it seemed like a quest, so I accepted the quest. Okay? Such is life. Service guarantees citizenship. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Hi. Got some coin to spare your humble stories? No. What would you have me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. <sighs> Video game. Why must you do this to me? Surely I have done nothing to deserve this abuse. Okay. Well, I don't actually have any quests. Burnworth Jail know the methods employed by thieves and their ilk. I can guide you there if you wish. There's no great shock to me. Sure. Attila uh, Sickman, consult the game journals on how to obtain the official raiment on their news aggregation sites. I might. I unironically might. I mean, this game does seem like it has been absolutely made for games journalist uh, guide writing. I'll say that much. It's like, obtain some official raiment. Okay, how do I do that? Mm, you pay uh, about 300,000 gold. Ah, I see. How, uh, how does one avoid doing that? Well, that's where things get interesting. Uh... Master, I'll fare all right without you for a little while. I suppose all we can do is wait. Oh, but I don't have the stuff. Oh, God help me. All right, confused. Confused now. Never mind. Never mind, never mind indeed. Let's go look for the orb, I guess. What's this? Come to admire my sculptures, have you? No. Oh, oh. to think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the Arisen. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive. That's fucking tragic, my dude. But why are you talking and to me? It would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you consider paying a visit to the sculptor in my stead. The man's home is located in Bak Batal. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculptor's completion. What we'll say we gather some information? This game has some of the weirdest quest plot lines I have ever experienced, and some of the weirdest hooks I have ever experienced. You walk down the street, some dude's like, Hello there, would you like to watch my sculptures? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't actually allow you to watch my sculptures. Unless you'd go and, you know, get the last sculpture for me, of course, in which case I'd happily let you look at my sculptures. I don't know you. What? Who are your sculptures? Are they cute? What? Are you gonna pay me? This ox cart's bound for the check. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Yes, 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 yes. Sit. Peril can result from a movement in caution. Plus me hold that. Move for a Stumble song, it does. No. Sit back down again. There. So, judging by video games. Oh. Hello. Judging by video game logic, then it's either the video game is going to. Are you. Are you evil? No, judging by the. 
yes, you are evil. Okay. No. You are not evil. Alright, never mind. Everybody else had themselves a nice fight, I guess. But judging by video game logic, Noble's Raiment. Either, A, I have to steal it, which would make a certain amount of sense, and I mean I could just walk into what I presume to be the noble part of the city and steal it, maybe. Should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. Alternatively, it could simply be a random quest item, or I could pick it up from a fucking goblin, for all I know. Or you might need to advance the storyline until eventually you are just given it out of nowhere. Or it might be a piece of randomly spawning loot. Fuck alone knows. Need anything? Yes. Times change, but there's always coin to be made. I, uh, I was gonna... Many thanks. Okay, never mind. I'm... I was gonna tell you that I rescued your grandson and shit, but it seems you've forgotten about that quest line. I'm pretty sure... Morris is a apothecary, yeah? You're Morris, you right? Yep, you're Morris. I uh, I rescued your, your son strange, and stuff. Or grandson or whatever. To be made. You, uh... Many thanks. You don't care, do you? Okay, well, I... That quest line's just bugged then. Okay, very well. But the Jade Orb, I do know where it is. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth. Uh, because this guy has... There we go. Yep, there it is. Because this guy has, like, every single fucking quest item in the universe, apparently. He's got the Beast and Mask and he's got the Jade Light Orb. Uh, when you are with the twin, you can have access to a forgotten spell. Oh, okay. That sounds cute. Let me purchase that as well, for no particular reason whatsoever. Purchase. On the transference of souls, eh? It is not like to do much harm on its own, but when combined with its twin, the first volume, it is potent indeed. Take care how you use it, sir. Many thanks to you. Is it a fee and await for a day? Complete order for it will be necessary to do not skill repairs, but not necessarily share its function. Forgeries? Safely in hand. I can make f forgeries. So how goes it? Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? Very nope. well. I don't like you. I was told I needed to give the Jadeite Orb to the furry. Uh, where's the furry? There's the furry. There you are. Pray, tell me. Have you found the Jadeite Orb? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now my freedom is assured. Pray, take this. A note isn't much. But I've nought else to offer. Right, I'd best get going. Sir, though we may ne'er meet again, know that I shall remember this kindness as long as I live. Farewell. So a lot of people who reward me with kindness in this universe. Now that we have released him from his shackles. Such moments make me proud to serve the Arisen. I suppose that would be a use for the forgery, right? If you've got two people wanting the same thing, then you could literally make two of the same thing and, like, double it. That will make a certain amount of sense. Uh, give that to Dummy Mummy. There you go. And that would be a cool function, if indeed that functions the way I think it does function. Dried fruits. Although, I also suspect the game is going to fuck you over doing that by being like, Hey, I actually looked into this. This is not the thing you promised me, you lying little cock weasel. I would expect. 
You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. I see. Well, I mean, you're a cute little elf girl, I guess. Um, sure. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not doddle. Can you have three of them? Oh, you can. Can you? Oh. I had no fucking idea. Huh. Okay, well, I'll have the half-naked woman, the cute elf girl, and my own NPC, Dommy Mommy, the enormous one. Perfect. We have found a material. And yes, yeah, Dummy Mummy, make sure to use her for all of your uh, adventuring needs. She may be low level, but that's your problem. Literally, that's your problem. She's perfectly leveled for me. Ooh, a goberin. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Only uh. Griffin gets the worm, as they say. Ooh, electrical thing, eh? I like it. Right, since I don't have a necessarily a quest at the moment, I think I'm just going to waffle around and kill some stuff for a little bit. I do need the money, after all. And maybe... I'll find With some cool we might stuff. Always be so in step, eh? What is that? Oh, lightning does not work against these, do they? Exactly as I got a woman whose speciality is lightning, huh? Okay, well that is unfortunate. And I mean, they are made out of literal fucking rocks, so... There we go. Roll them over onto their sides and just wallop the shit out of them. Well, that's a new enemy discovered and murdered. A Rattler Rock Scale. Alright, that's cute. I feel like I'm about to run into a golem or something. We could move this boulder if we work together. Right. Eat shit, lizard. I don't know, the location of all of these boulders make me, uh... Just a little bit suspicious that there mightn't be something big and evil down there. Huh? I grant you lightning spags. Step. I literally recoiled off it. Nice. There's also a quest marker here, but I think it's... I think it's that boulder. Is it underneath the boulder? Or is it... Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. I feel like the video game wants me to wait for something big to come up the valley before pushing this down all that on it, but yeah, let's let's work under that assumption for now. I feel like this would be the perfect place to smush something large and evil. Whoa. Or be smushed by something large and evil. <laughs> okay. That could have been extraordinarily dangerous. Would it not for the fact that I saw the ground vibrating in sympathy, I guess? Oh, 
are no big monsters. I'm terribly disappointed by the absence of monsters. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. If your master has yet to discover gold, I'm 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 very sad for him. Video game gets all excited. Look at this amazing thing you found. Gold? Yeah, we use it for basically anything in this world. Gold is so unfathomably plentiful, it basically has no value whatsoever. Gold in this universe has, oddly enough, around about the exact same value as the Japanese yen. What a strange and a weird coincidence. We anywhere before we do is rest. Time spent camping isn't necessarily time wasted. Oh. A magic bug. Okay, so the magic bugs, I have I know what to do with them now. You eat them to gain 0, 15 extra carry weight. Ask not of me why the fuck eating bugs allows you to carry more stuff, because I do not have an answer to that question. HP stick, sure. I don't now have an answer to it. Time to sort through your belongings, master. If you've anything edible, oh, gladly lessen your burden. Oh, 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 Jesus. Okay, hello. Please, please tell me this is loaded. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, oh God, those controls. Oh my. Get stuffed. Be wary. This is folk not yet encountered. I know, I know. But it's busy for now, so it's fine. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. Is this hurting them? I don't know if this is hurting them. I'm just going to work under the assumption that this is hurting them. Because surely the video game would Oh no. Okay. Oh yeah, this is working. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb dragon. Okay. Right. Turns out it uh, it got sick and tired of me doing that to it. Um. I, uh, I really do hope that is re- uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm glad there was not a cliff there. We must rally. Can it by shan't let them harm you? Oh, Jesus. Um... Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is going to work out. Um, yeah, yeah, we are doing, uh, we are doing basically no damage to that thing. Oh, ow, and it certainly is doing plenty of damage to me. Urge to jump down on it. Overwhelming. Cowbunga! Oh no. See, the problem now is um, they're, hey, we, we appear to be fighting both of them, which is unfortunate. Hey, can I operate you? Ooh, please don't. Yup. Can I, uh... No? Right, don't mind me. I'm gonna see if I can find another ballista. Gotta hit the glowing heart to do the big PPP damage. Yeah, I, ex I expected as much, but I don't really have a ranged weapon at the moment. Uh, 
I'm really kind of hoping that there might be a, oh, you know, another ballista around here somewhere. No? No. What about the, uh, okay, the Cyclops is still hitting it. The Cyclops has not a lot of hit points left. I... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on there, everyone. I just need to reorganize my inventory a little bit. I know this might not seem like the ideal uh, time, but... Trust me. That is no time quite like the present. Uh, because I need to be able to, you know, move and stuff. I do hate this inventory management a tremendous deal. Uh, suddenly, I kind of wish I still had my bow and arrow, weirdly enough. Okay. Well, the ogre is uh, mildly inconveniencing it a little bit. Ah, good, yes, come down to the ground, you big dumb thing. Ooh. Okay, that still does a decent amount of damage. Decent ish. No, don't fly, you big! Oh, Miami, I'm just gonna continuously sure you can your fucking wings. Hmm? Sure you can. Oh no! Ow! Yep, that. Yep, saw that coming. Mm -hmm. Oh! Ow! Am I stuck? I am stuck. Okay. Um, help. Help. Uh, where the fuck am I? That is... Where am I? What am I doing? Am I... God, help me. Jesus. Console controls, help! Okay. Right. Let's try and get Dummy Mummy back up again. There we are. Now it's getting dark. Brilliant. I'm wondering if that Cyclops isn't doing more damage to me than it's doing to... Oh, tail. Hit tail. Hit tail. Uh oh. I know, I just kind of, I you know, wish I had uh, a ranged attack or something. That'd be nice. The ogre dead? Okay, the ogre's dead. Nice. Ooh. I love how I get stuck on so much random shit in this game. It's like, I would like to avoid the giant attack. Well, that's a, that's a neat idea there, player, sir, but... Uh, Need to reorganize my inventory again real quickly, don't mind me. No, a curative cannot mend. Mm -hmm. Smack it in the heart. There you go. Okay. 
Yeah, smacking creature in heart makes dragon be in pain. Yep. God, the, oh, the ogre is actually a greater danger whilst on the ground ow, than it was when alive, which is a minor problem. Oh, Jesus. I would really, really like it if your wings would fall off. Okay, move, 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 move! Oh my god, every attack locks me in for 50 fucking minutes! Lovely, I can't see shit. Oh no. Move, 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 move. There we go. I'm holding on by the skin of my teeth here. How about the rest of you? Somehow that missed. Not sure how. Um can I revive you through that thing's corpse? I sort of can. Ah, Jesus. Yep, no, the, uh... The ogre is actually genuinely a bigger impediment when dead than it was alive. Brilliant. There. Jesus. Sure you can. Wait. Did that... One, two, three, four, five. Did that do anything? I don't think that did anything to it. I think it... Did it instantly regenerate its health thing? Because I feel like it did. Yep, there's a... The environment is a far lot. The fuck. Yeah, I think it actually healed the moment I did so that. Guaranteed citizenship. Six to five dots. Okay, so there is there is dots. All right. All right, um, well, I don't know if there's a tremendous oh, amount of point in this, if I'm to be entirely honest. Use of this during battle. I've no doubt it would catch our foes unaware. Actually, if I... Okay, right, let's pay a bit more attention. Sure, if I can get out of the way when it tries to do its lightning attack, it I might stand a chance. This should be interesting. I'm not familiar with this, though. Well, Here, strike with lightning on your side. Come on, dragon. Don't be over there. I can't see you over there. Hit its wings because I don't like its ability to fly. I don't know if it was necessary for you to go down there, Stella. Keep shooting its wings for now until I get a better look. I'm at it. Yeah, yeah, good Cyclops. Beat it up. Fuck. Right, well, I had absolute. Oh, fuck. I have no warning whatsoever because I can't fucking see what it's doing. Say like, hello, I was casting a spell at you. Wait a moment. Too bad you have absolutely no vision because of how unfathomably terrible the camera is. What a tragedy. Yes, what a fucking tragedy indeed. 
Like, listen, my paw was glowing slightly behind that enormous fucking mountain, which you had no opportunity to see whatsoever, okay? You should have been able to understand that. We can ill afford to rush headlong into battle. Focus. A moment of indecision may spell our doom. Perhaps. Is there, there's got to be more ballistas here, surely. Where this phone? It has a means to control pawns. I shan't suffer such an offense. We are our masters, Myrtle, and no others. They aren't, are they? I mean, there's a giant ballista up there, but I guess that doesn't matter. Why did you go down there? Oh, God, help me. Did you... Oh, my God. Yes, they did. Yes, they jumped off the fucking mountain. Oh, God, help me. You're legitimately retarded. Oh my god, why? Uh, I'm going to to get hit by lightning again. Moment. I thought I had met my end. My thanks to you, Arisen. I love her. Yeah, uh, it's not a good idea to try and go up the sides of the mountain, because if you try to go up the sides of the mountain, well, your pawns will throw themselves to their fucking death! Okay, well, um, good to know. Do not try and go up the mountain. If you try to go up the mountain, you are simply just going to lose all of your pawns to the game's unfathomably poor pathfinding. Okay, just stay over there, please. I expect you'll be wanting my I, assistance. No, I no, I I want to. I, I don't want your assistance. I just this told you to stow. I'm with I told you to stay over there, cause you're retarded. Wait, there. Here, strike with lightning on your side. God help me. One more attempt. Because this is probably not doable at my level. Alright. I would love it if he'd turned towards me so I could see uh, if he was building up lightning in his paws. Please, Mr. Cyclops. I would like it if you didn't. Maybe. Nope. Our foe stumbles. Just one more push ought to bring it down. The moment of victory is at hand. Let right. us finish this. Damn it. Uh oh. GTFO, GTFO, GTFO. Are we leaving already? Bother. I was just getting warmed up. All right, back on the blister. Shall I assist? Uh oh. And it's dead. All right. Don't worry about it. If you could just. No, it's not dead. It's good. It's good. If you could just stay over there, hovering in the air like a big dumb bird, that would be absolutely just brilliant. Please doing all of, stop doing all of the lightning effects behind me. You're making me nervous, little pawn. You're making me very nervous. Wear this phone. It has a means to control pawns. I yep. shan't suffer such an offense. We are our masters, Myrmidons, and no others. 
Okay, that's not the lightning attack. That's the yellow attack. That's probably fine, I think. Uh, this is going better. Oh, never mind. What was that? Was that... Was that him? Wait a moment. Oh, there's the lightning. Okay. Right. Well, uh, don't come over here, please. Cease. Don't. 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 There. Yes. Yes, go on the ground. Please get out of the way. Go fight the Cyclops again, goddammit. Why would you do that? Why would you go over there? What possible reason? It's like, I just wanted to die. I know, I see. I'd prefer it if you didn't. Um, oh, here. Okay, walking away from that is not good enough. You must sprint, otherwise you will be hit. And death. Yeah, this is definitely not doable at my level. Not even fucking close. Not even fucking close. It kills me basically one hit. I have no control over my fucking camera. And I have no idea when it's casting magic at me. And the ogre is not really much help either. And I do no damage to it. Well, I don't. I, I do some damage to it. I do some damage to it with the leapy, leapy thing. Hmm. Okay, shits and giggles. Let's do a camp. Buff up. Maybe with full buffs. Maybe. Go to fort. Okay, we can go to the fort. I miss my bow right about now. I'll tell you that much. I'm all for swapping stories, but perhaps another night. I can scarce keep my eyes open. Let's see. I'm presuming this is a set piece battle thing, so I'm guessing, yeah, it's still there. Yep. Definitely set now seems it's my time to sort through your belongings, Master. If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. Okay, let's listen to chat and go to fort. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Fort. Oh. Holy attacks will prove most effective against me. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the enemy. Did you just zap me in the back, Pawn? Am I. Where am I? Oh, I'm stunned. Okay. I cannot fault your prowess. It is a bit early to be thanking me. The enemy yet remains. Not a bad idea. Die. Smash skull, or bad people come back again. Jagged bone. So soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. How are we to get through this door? A door? 
point of interest door. I'll go and open the chest. I'll be my guest, I suppose. Okay, that's a bigger ballista. Could bigger ballista be used? Bigger ballista could be used. Uh, no, actually, bigger ballista could not be used Shall because bigger ballista only points up. All right. Well, uh, okay. Lower angle. Lower. Nice. Hello, Dev. Thank you for the raid. I feel like my pawns should be able to uh, do this f for me. Maybe they are. Okay, Dommy Mommy is standing by it. Oh, now I can't get up there. God help me. Careful now. Careful. Okay. Come on, get on your assigned well, positions. I would gladly be evade, Arisen. Uh, still not anywhere near good enough. But okay, so they can man it. That's nice to know. Let's try the other ballista. And it seems as if the dragon has finished munching on the ogre. Which is fine. The ogre was nothing more than... Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. We shall have to, it's but first... To find my footing in this darkness. I think... Hi. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. <clears throat> Get off the cliff! <laughs> Get off the cliff! Whoa, Get off the cliff! No. Oh god, my my pawns are gonna get sent fucking flying up here so bad, so badly. Yep, Satella is about to get fucking yeetoed. This thing needs to die quick. There, fucking beat the shit out of it. There, beat the. Fuck out of it! Beat the fuck out of it! Now! Now! Ooh! Go on! Go on, boy! Go on! Oh, t hello, dummy mommy! Um. <laughs> Just dunk her into the dirt. That was not quite as devastating as I'd hoped it would. Never mind, it killed itself. Right, uh, well, shitty pathfinding was on my side that time, so. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was a second Cyclops, but no, it was just a... It was just a goblin that had decided to wander a little bit... ...highly. Get screwed! Surely this ballista, this ballista must be tiltable enough. Might I be of assistance? Yes, you may. Leave Come on. Me. The whole multi-gun crew thing is pretty fucking cool. I can't lie. Oh, Jesus. Come on. This has got to fucking hurt. This has got to fucking hurt. This has got to fucking hurt, surely. I'm going to go for its wings. This should be interesting. Oh, come on. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I know what that is. And I guess it has infinite range. 
Yep. Oh god. Getting up this thing is I suppose I not very comfortable. Well. The pawns in this party are women all. I suppose I'll handle uh, this. Uh oh. <sighs> yeah, it I'm no. glad that well, it was a cute idea, but it did do a ass load of damage to it. You are um, Allow me. Really, really don't want to fight it up here, though. Like, this is the absolute last place I would possibly want to fight this thing. No. No. Please let me climb up there. It's very easily climbable, video game. Video game disagrees. I, I I wish I wish I had some sort of control over my fucking pawns. I really do. I wish I had some way of commanding them, giving them basic instructions like, "Hey, don't fight the thing over there, because you're all standing on a tiny platform and you're all gonna get hit again and again." God, I I wish there was some sort of control scheme. I'm try. I'm continuously hammering the "come to me" button. By the way, uh, they they don't seem particularly interested in obeying instructions. <sighs> Fuck, they're all dead, anyways. <sighs> Just randomly, my character decides to fucking leap. God help me. <laughs> I'm I'm sprinting, and so my character hits a bump in the ground, and thus. Hurls himself off the fucking parapet. <laughs> fucking Christ. It just leaps. Leaps to his death. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, why? <sighs> okay. I mean, this is clearly how you're supposed to beat it. This. So we'll try again. We got it now. Dummy mommy, are you? Are you? You having a hard time down there? I expect you'll be wanting my assistance. I do. Squeal, 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 squeal. Okay. Load it the fuck up, hit it, hope to god it doesn't cast lightning, try again. Okay, so it won't kill its wings in one shot, so... Aim for the fucking chest. Aim for the chest! That was the solution to this particular quandary. Just aim for the fucking chest. There we go. Was enough to make one pity our foe. So you are the chosen one. After several attempts, you managed to find a way to cheese the massive ballista weapon to one shot me. <laughs> you are a great one here. Uh, thanks. I can see no path to take us onward. It seems we've hit a dead end. Methinks I can make it over there. Might I be of assistance? Um. Can I, like, I don't know, push you? Push you off? Maybe? Just grab a hold of your foot and, like, haul, haul you away? No? Okay. Um. Well, we killed it. Now the question is, can I get down there without breaking my spine? 
So far, so good. Come to think of it, some masters rearranged their party at the drop of a hat. Uh -oh. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. You remember sure that? to keep that in mind. Oh, 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 oh. Still alive. A ballista. Indeed, ballista. After all this trouble, I hope you have something good. Is that is that it? A uh, a woke stone? Is that all? Is that all you have for me? A woke stone? Somehow I expected something more remarkable, like. Like dragon tail or dragon sword uh, ting, you know. I'm disappointed, frankly. Can I? No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Oh. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Spiders, apparently. I can't chop your tail off post mortem, can I? Because that'd be funny. <laughs> I mean, it's creating splashes of blood at least. <laughs> but I'm not sure if this is having any effect. Writing home about. I agree. Find a use for it, I'm sure. Oh. Alright, where was the uh it is a strange oh, sort is. that ventures willingly into darkness? Rugged boon. Aged scraggle beast. I mean, he did give me an ass load of XP, so I suppose I can't complain too loudly. Well. Oh. This path seems promising, so I guess we'll just continue forwards then. Why not? And hey, it did give me a reload your save, basically. Don't, uh, don't die. Ooh, uh, can I pick that up? No. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. I, I have considered that, yes. On multiple occasions. But every time I do, I seem to just oh, get fucking that. killed. There are rare materials yonder. Just waiting to be harvested. They didn't to have venom and not to be trifled with. Ice and cats are only easy to advantage. We'll have to try something else. Okay. Well, I don't think I have any ice attacks, so... Don't worry about that, I suppose. Someone help me! Are you friends or are you foes? Huh? Friends, because that didn't hurt them. Do not despair! I'm coming to your aid! In a few words, poison is a nasty. Yay. Oh no, a locked gate. It. it shan't be from this side. So it goes. The greatest enemy of an adventurer. A rusty 
closed iron gate. Then I could surely just smash open with my enormous two-handed sword, but... The laws of the video game say that you cannot. That is probably the exit for going along the, uh, the long way, I'd guess. Why is this place so depressing looking? Uh, more harpies. I don't like harpies. Dummy Mummy's shield is glowing purple. And one of my NPCs said something about poison being at, being shitty. I have a sneaking suspicion that Dummy I Mummy might be poison. Step! Well, I don't know necessarily what to do about that, so I guess Dummy Mummy is just going to have to continue being poisoned for a while. That's going to suck for her, but such is life. Come to think of it. In this party are women all. Indeed. And I've no objections. See? You're missing a two-handed hammer in the fort. Go take it. Oh, God damn it. Hammer? Oh. It better be a good hammer, Chad, otherwise. It better be an amazing hammer. It's like, why are all of the pawns women, Master? Oh, you know. <laughs> I don't understand. Ah, I see. Your Master hasn't taught you valuable lessons about camaraderie yet, I understand. Anyone who would have male pawns are just weird. Okay, what of this garbage is heavy? Give. 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 Ah, inventory management. Inventory management where every single solitary item requires three clicks at least to be transported into somebody else's eye inventory mm, the best kind of inventory management the slow laborious oh, i didn't mean to drop that give me that back trust this item of import to me master very well I shall... A friendly face at last. If I might be so bold as to impose upon you again, would you be willing to accompany me to the cenotaph and safeguard me from harm? I fear there are none else to whom I can turn. And if this is not done, the road through these grounds shall forever remain impassable. Pray, will you lend me your aid? Oh, thank sure, you. Sure, random stranger. In your care, sir. We are to safeguard Sir Oscar to the cenotaph. Shall we be off? Now, one good thing about this universe, eh, is that this is this has got to be the highest trust society ever depicted in entertainment, bar none. <laughs> like straight up, you you need somebody to watch your house whilst you're gone for a week. Random stranger on the side of the road will do it for you. You need to be. Guided to an enormous, mysterious fortress, random, heavily armed dude in a horned helmet will help you out. You, you need a thousand gold just handed to you. Strangers on the street will provide. <laughs> I 
<laughs> destroy the trust by robbing him. <laughs> it's like suddenly we go fully legal immigrant on his ass. It's like, wow, look at this. Oh. Hey. Oh. Bolts of lightning shan't do us any good against it. Ah, uh, you, uh, are you happy now? Is this, uh... So where is this? It must be in there, I'm guessing, that the cool-ass hammer is. All right, so... Gotta find some way in there. Are there stuff in battles in this game? Mm, yes! What about Jaws? Yes! I mean, not that I necessarily care that much about grapes, but, uh... Let me get that. Thank you. Ah, I remember this place. This is where I leapt to my death in a moment of panic. Why did you jump off here? This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would carry tremendous lethal force. That's true. Oh, we can use it to kill a dragon. I can think of all manner of uses for a contraption such as this. Might we not lay a trap for our enemies? Oh, hold on. Climbable? No, not climbable. Ooh. Almost killed myself again. I am not joking when I say that traversal is one of the greatest enemies in this game. You fall in the river, your ass is dead. You fall off a 15 foot incline, your ass is equally dead. You hit a small rock as you're running on a parapet, dead. I want to go down this hole, oh. There's a ladder here. I thought you wanted to go to the zenith. Discoveries await us above. Well, yes, but my definition of zenith is uh, bottom. I see. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. Good to know. Smash! 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 And. to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. All right, where did my little tard go? Oh, there he is. You see it here, sir. I have no intention to living through this. Detoxifying decoction. Something tells me that the video game is about to introduce me to the idea of poisonous enemies. Well, this is ominous. Are, uh... Are we about to get ambushed by something large and poisonous? An enormous room-sized snake, perhaps? It wasn't an easy journey, but here we are at last. All that remains is to ring the bell. I only pray it works. The bell? That should do it, eh? Ought seems to be well. My humblest thanks, sir. I swear I'll never shirk this sacred duty again. I'd fain reward you for your aid. Heaven knows you've earned it. But I fear times have been the tough on me. Oh, perhaps you'd accept this key for your troubles. I happened upon it on our way here. I suppose it must unlock something on this battleground, though I confess I know not what. Still, surely it must be grand, as the key is of such ornate make. I pray it is to your liking, sir. Thanks!
Okay, so I brought him here. Uh, he rang a bell. And that apparently achieved uh, something, I presume. And then he gave me a key. To charge ahead, maybe to rush headlong into danger. To something. Let's take care to move as one. Pray, speak up should you notice or to miss. Door next there. Door? And that's closed. But, as he said, it must unlock something, so I guess we're gonna start exploring, then. Oh. We have a key, do we not? We do, and that lock is actually glowing. Right one. Okay, well, chests. I like chests. Fairy stone. I'll take it. Teleportation is cute. I'll go and open the chest. Infernal edge. Okay, now that sounds more like a reward to me, a weapon. Infernal Edge, a duo spear with the power to convert magical energy into that of searing flame. Its fire enchantment never fades. Can I equip it? No. Class unknown. Okay. Well, uh, I presume it'll be useful to someone at some point in some future, uh, maybe. Because I am big dumb barbarian. I, I know, understand. Wait, is there... Why did you mark a chest on the map? Did I... Oh, yes, I opened those. I am big dumb barbarian. I am too stupid to use spear. Especially this fancy Master, double spear. My heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Ah, that's very nice of you to say. Head pats. Spear has two sharp edges. Barbarian dumb. Barbarian would cut self. Barbarian cannot use this. Oh. A path up and a path down. I'm still searching for this mythical hammer chap claims is in the fortress. Hey! Yeah, I was about to say, you don't look dead, actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, don't shoot it yet. No, I wanted to smash it. Balls! Crush it, penis! Up its ass! Uh oh. I've been sat on, actually. Thank you, there.
Prepare for your rectal exam, sir. Oh, no, I can't be inside of it. No. And smash those cheeks. Apart. Hmm. Analyzed. Brutality. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Yeah, I just harvested a whole lot from that thing's butthole. As we can carry. I harvested a helmet from its fucking cheeks. Very heavy. A black matter. I take it that's the hammer that Chad was talking about then. Cheeks clapped. That would be an excellent. That would be an excellent kill screen. Ooh, that does indeed look like a cute little hammer. Oh god, um, that is definitely better than what I have, so equip that. Knockdown resistant. Equip. Saurician scale cape. Heavy. Uh, uh, there. And equip. Our oh, die is indeed a very large bonky stick. I no wonder it was so cranky. It had a horned helmet shoved up its asshole. Look at this thing. He had this up his anus. Small mystery, he was a bit cranky. I'd be pretty displeased too if I had something the size of a nut with thorns on it shoved up my butthole. And I think I'd be positively this furious. I'd be positively furious, I would. Oh hey, it's one of those weird magic rocks that I have no idea what purpose is. <gasps> oh. Yeah. I saw you coming there. You tried to grab my ass. Well, fucking bitch. Fuck you. That was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Dummy Mommy's almost max ranked in her vocation. That is a good point, chat. Imagine the smell. God, where am I going? I feel like... I feel like I shouldn't be here. But I feel like I must press on. Oh yes, this is definitely a we hid something cute over here and it's really gay, gay kind of areas. Oh yeah, fucking platforming in a game where the fucking camera snuggles so close to my neck I think it's about to rape me. Oh, now, brilliant. Uh-huh. If only to went so far away. This, this is gonna work out really well. Oh, this is gonna work out so well. Mm-hmm. Okay, how do I get up there, then? Uh... Really? I can't just, you know... I can't... I, I can't just grab a hole there, can I? Am I supposed to go down there? Uh, video game does not seem to want me to go up there, so... Yeah. Oh, God help me. That does not look safe. Are you... Are you... Sh no. This is a trap. No, there we go. Yeah, I was about to say, that, that looked like a trap. Um... Here. Here. Well, 
What do you want from me, game? I am confused. I am lost and frightened. Ugh, I'm about to fall to my death. Yep. I don't know how to catch them, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? That's a fucking sturdy piece of wood right there. Maybe I missed? That's a very sturdy piece of wood. Nope, that is just a very, 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 very sturdy piece of wood. I mean, that does look like that... That does look like something I should do something with, chat. Uh, I'm just not entirely sure what. And I can't- I don't have anything to shoot arrows with, so, uh... Hum. Hum. I feel- the video game must have brought me up here for a reason, surely. Or maybe it's just fucking with me. It's entirely possible that it's just fucking me with me. All right, let's try and get down without breaking anything. Yep. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Well, that was predictable. This is generally used as a material. So is my body. Different of materials result in different creations. Thank you. Hmm. Water is now invisible in this bloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. I dare say that's part and parcel. Ah, oh, now here's a surprise. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. Ha! Ah, I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Hmm, okay. Well, I th I think... I think we've explored everything of... Purpose and point here. I mean that looks so suspicious that I really want to try and go up there, but There's some really hard wood some really really hard wood. What can I say? And I got the hammer and I got a magic spear And I killed like three cyclopses and I got a magical adventures token. Skeletons. I think I may have out achieved yes, everything I can achieve. Weapon. Single bolt loose from it would carry Where the skeletons? There. Oh. Jesus. Something tells me there's a... Hi there. Wizard nearby. Did you kill the... Here. Strike with lightning on your side. Costa? You did. Oh no, there is. I shan't allow any further harm to you. And then it's magic gone. Hmm. 
Meet the furry waifu and kill its simp guardian. What There's now? There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Perhaps new discoveries does await us above, but I did climb that ladder. I can climb marginally faster, kind of, by jumping. Kind of, but not really. As I continue to load down inventor my inventory with random pieces of trash and or weeds. Is there a way to pass time in this game? So that I can actually, you know, see what I'm doing. That is the wrong side of the ladder, apparently. Is there anything up here? No, that is a ladder that leads to absolutely nowhere. Okay, good to know. Caught you. You'll be all right now. I do like the fact that the pawns can actually catch you too. That's really cool. Right, I've been over there. I've been over there. Oh, hello. There's a hole in the mountain. World Send the Cavern. It's a cheery name. Excellent. Just what oh, I was hoping. Apple. Okay. For a moment I saw a bomb there. Plunging ever onwards. Oh god, that never hits! I keep wanting to do that because I love the idea of leaping from a tall place with a giant weapon and just fucking crushing somebody's skull, but it never hits! Yep. Oh, no need to be fancy. We can just smash their skulls in the good old fashioned way. And that, Over uh... So soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become... Grass patterned camping kit. Uh, that gives me an opportunity to sleep if I so desire. Grass pattern camping kit. What the f... Uh, campus of location, pick the suit against monsters that prowl the Mundian soil. Okay. That's cute. Hmm. I think I've got enough health now, and it's, it's not like daylight is going to help me anything inside of a fucking cave, so... Ow! Cease! These are some fucking aggressive bats! They can probably smell my helmet, seeing as I found it up a ogre's ass. I imagine it has a uh, peculiar boutique, shall we say. They might be attracted to it. Wow, that man over there smells exactly like Kaka! Master, shall I assist? Large booming banging noises. Die, little spider thing. I said die, little spider thing.
Rats appear to be non-hostile. Oh. Aha! Hammer, smash! Uh, okay, let's go down the hole first then. Because that seems like it continues for a while. Oh. There was nothing down the hole. Never mind. Well, that's not entirely true. There was a rat down the hole, which gave me a rotten piece of... A rotten piece of meat. Fantastic. Maybe I don't need to carry around the rotten meat. Just a generalized thought. Well, mage woman, please give me lightning on my weapon. Give everyone lightning on their weapons. I will protect you. Ah, the ancient Roman ruins. We're playing the bunker again now. Oh, fabulous thing. Did I? No, I did not pick that up. Pick up thing. Pick up thing. Thank you. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. Ghosts busted. They need to allow for modding in this game, have they? It's Capcom, so no, of course they haven't. But modding would be great. You know, custom voice packs to your companions, custom appearances, etc. That would be all, all amazing. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. I know, it's all my shit anyways. Xerxes, five dollars. Thoughts on the game so far? Game is fun, I like game. Game is console game. That means game has dubious uh, choices when it comes to mechanics. Oh no, it's inside of me. Fire is the answer. <laughs> the uh, the camera is way too close, and it really needs modding, which it doesn't have, which is absolute travesty. But base gameplay loop etc is really good. Uh. Ring of Grit, I'll take it. Do bear in mind that a lot of people are having a lot of issues with performance and stuff as well. Uh, I have not had any problems with performance. And some people are outright just crashing, etc. There are microtransactions, which is very relevant to mention. I might forget the journalist might my tell you. Pawn system is a lot of fun. I like that. They really needed to make it for actual PC, though. Like, cause... Did you just spawn out of the fucking chest? You did. It is, it is very, very obvious that they made the game for consoles pretty much exclusively. And that is not a good thing, because it means the controls are inferior, the camera is inferior. The graphics, although serviceable, could certainly be a lot better. There's a lot of things they could have done much better, but it's still a solid enough game in my opinion. Stop spawning out of the fucking crates, you oh, ghosts! I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. I also quite like the fact that they've actually taken a little bit of effort into trying to, uh... Sneeze. Hit me! Ah. To have, um, work in a little bit of old-timey speak in the, um... In the voice acting. You know? Ought. Keen. Stuff like that. 
It's a nice touch. Voice acting is not amazing, uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It's serviceable, that's about uh, all I'll give it. It's quite flat. Um, I'm pretty sure I could unironically hire better voice actors on Fiverr than what they got for this. And hire a lot more of them too, mind you. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. It is. Which is why I have a lantern. Okay, is that? That looks like an exit, so let's not bother with that just yet. Many, many Capcomian shortcomings, in other words. But it does not ruin what is a uh, good video game for me. Oh, and the inventory management. God help me, the inventory management. You pick up a lot of stuff in this game. A lot of stuff in this game. Uh, don't combine it with that, no. Uh, white cobble. That makes her heavy. I'm- I'm really arriving at the end of my possible pack endurance here. I wouldn't mind another Cyclops. Or a Minotaur. I actually quite like a Minotaur right about now. Since I was cheated from the one in town. You know, I really don't know if I want to be mining this, because I don't know if this ore has any fucking value to me. I actually genuinely don't know if this ore has any value to me at all. Silver ore, white cobble. Why, it is a treasure in the truest sense. Master, do take care not to throw it away by mistake. White cobble. White cobble. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? God, no. Oh. White cobble? White cobble. I can't leave it behind either. We can't leave anything behind. Every single piece of loot, no matter how pointless, must be carried to the end of the goal. It must. No matter how worthless, no matter how fruitless. Wait, is this the way out? Yes, probably, presumably. Lovely. Oh. Ha! Huh. That looks dangerous. Um, hmm. Hum. Immediately. Immediately, my boss fight senses are tingling the moment I see a large open plaza. There, I am merely heavy Seems again. I've collected a few too many things. Perhaps I ought to be more selective in future. Uh huh. A golem rises to meet us. All right, a golem. Well, I haven't run into that before. Let my magic to in an Um. Uh, up its ass. Okay. Well, smashing it in its asshole is out. Still effective. Out. 
Oh, that did not look like it was gonna hit me, but it did. Shuriuken! Is that... What are you doing? That looks dangerous. Huh. Well, if you're gonna stand bent over there... Up his bum. No, don't run away from me. This is my favorite attack. Okay, that does not did not do as much as I was hoping. Hmm. Oh, the giant crystal in his back is what you need to hit. Okay, that's a neat touch. I like that. I think I can maybe hit... No, not quite. Okay. Oh, it's dead now. No, I just got up here, goddammit. Oh, there's another one in the back of, the back of its head. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. I like mechanics like these. These are really cool mechanics. Yep. Keep hitting it until I run out of stamina. Oh, I'm fine. Just, you know, a little bit out of breath after pummeling its skull for a little bit. It's fine. It's nothing. It's what it is. If I wasn't carrying 75 million pounds of pure unadulterated garbage, I'd be, you know, fit as a fiddle right about now. Die. Die. Smash your brain. Smash your brain. You can shoot as many lasers as you want, but as long as I'm beating your brains up... Oh. Its brain closed up on me. Yet we put up a brave fight, and here we stand. Considering the might of our combined experience, what other outcome could there have been? Ah, yes. More garbage. More garbage. These writings could be of import. It could, but Fair video game, I'm... Trivial ought of interest. I want to go home, video game. I wish to go home. I'm so full of random... Oh. Oh, to the Sphinx. Oh, Sphinx, thou ass, what hath four legs in the morning, two at noon, three at night. Human. For the answer is born, he means claim a long sought boon. O Sphinx, what have four legs in the morning, two at noon, three at night, with a pleasure. Trust that was reward. One who leaves it on mark by sword. A wit to delight. A human. Because that's the classic, classic tale. Uh, four, four in the morning, because it's a baby crawling on four legs. Two at the middle of its life, and then three um, when it's an old man walking with a cane. God help me. God help me. More. More dungeon. No. Uh. <laughs> Must. Must carry on. Must carry on. No matter the weight. No matter the burden. Must carry on. I can scarcely see a thing in this mark. God, I hope there's a bonfire in here somewhere. Well, there's light. Mountain Shrine. Okie dokie. 
God, I was I was just going to leave like town for a little bit because I was like, okay, I don't know where to get the regalia. Oh, that looks very boss fighty. I'm just gonna go up there for a little bit. Just I'm gonna go get one of those little side quests, and then I'm gonna get right back to it. That was about three hours ago. But no, we are still exploring. We are still go going. And to be fair, that is the sign of a good RPG, though. When you just... You enter a cave, and then you emerge out of the cave six hours later. Lost, hungry, confused, but satisfied. Stella, I see you're not overburdened yet. Let me fix that for you. Magic metal. Can be used to enhance equipment. Well, that's nice to hear. Ah. <sighs> Door? Not door. I am walking this constant exhausted shuffle up. Hello? Hi, are you YouTube safe? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Hum. Hello there. Okay, what is this? What is this and why is it here? Huh. Should I? Sh hmm. Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. Oh, well, choice made for me. Many have tried, and as you can plainly see, all have failed. I would abandon any such fool ideas if I were you. After all, that which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. I trust I have your attention. There is a big golden chest, yeah. If so, take your place and we shall begin. The Sphinx's riddles are designed to baffle and confuse. I fear we pawns can be of little aid here, Master. <sighs> oh, well, listen, we're really retarded. The size is yours alone, Master. Oh, it's actually kind of, kind of stupid. Okay. Um, uh, what do you want from me? Your resolve is commendable. You need me? Your teeth are kind of blunt. I think you're a. Yeah, I, yeah, you're probably not a carnivore. The fool I hope. beholds a sage in the mirror. The sage, a fool. Which is it you see? I wonder. Uh, a riddle of our eyes? eyes are our allies, yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do lead astray. Yet, how would your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door, and retrieve that which is of greatest value. Okay. Our eyes are our greatest tool, yet our eyes lie and betray. You return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Epic chest ahead. <laughs> yes. It's a very... That's a very Dark Souls reference-y thing there. Epic chest ahead.
No, don't throw fish at me. Get it. Oh, there's a hole in the ground in front of me. Oh, never mind. I am very glad the video game did not allow me to charge madly forward there and fling myself to my death. Thank you very much, video game. Yes. Yes, more pointless loot. Yes, fill my inventory to brimming. Do I go down there? I kind of want to go down there. There's probably loot down there. Whee! Oh, God. Hi. You're not loot. Help! Then I shall remain by your side. God, this isn't loot. I don't know what this is, but it's not loot. Uh, okay, one of these things. I'm pretty sure I need magic to hurt these or something. Where'd it go? There it is. Please, give me a shiny sword. Oh, I missed you. Okay. That did not hit it, apparently. Please give shiny sword. I feel like that wouldn't... Oh, it actually did kind of work. Okay, never mind. Monster seems to have dropped something. Oh, it's dead already. Okay. Oh, at least slime. Lovely. I guess this is how the Sphinx uh, gets rid of it. Poop, I presume. It just shits down the hole and the slime like, ah, oh, yes. Yes. Sphinx poop. Ah. Oh. And then it just gulps it all down. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. It's a loud roaring noise ahead. Yes. Yes, loot goblin harder. Uh, Mercy X21, I wanted to like this game so bad, but I'm not dealing with micros. Two nickel and dime for me. Also, Dev, tell Dev, also tell Dev, I believe. Is that? Is that another hole? <laughs> I believe Tarot by Jane over him on Vot. B-O-T. All right, so this is where, this is where I, this is where I came from. All right. Hey, continue jumping down into holes. Why not? Please. Stay with me, Arisen. Oh, hi. Perhaps was this one of those things we call a tremendous mistake? Hmm. Yes. Yes, it might be one of those tremendous mistakes. Oh, it's no good. Okay, that's not too bad. August, are, August, oh. I, she just threw a rock at it. All right. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. Sure you can. I think these are vulnerable to lightning, judging by the sheer amount of wallop I am fucking smacking down on its ass. Hey, stop that! Die. Die, I said. Die. Die, I said. Okay. You two. All of you. Smash. Damn it. Oh, still hit. I should have bought the shove hammer up enemy's ass ability. That would have probably been very useful here. Right. Crushing flow. 
I don't like that ability. I feel like this ability charges faster and does more damage than the crushing blow thing. Simple. Facile, indeed. Not compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Right, I've yet to find this whole, uh... This whole riddle she was talking about, but I have found plenty of holes. Oh, that looks like a hole too. Oh well, what's a trap if you don't fall for it? Does that just lead back down again? I think that just leads back down again. Does it? No, I think that leads somewhere else. Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. We must each of us hone yeah. our skills. Hey. A jack of all trades is a master hey, of just. none. Yes, more pointless loot. Igneous Melody. That sounds like a fire spell. I was told there'd be puzzles down here. I have yet to witness anything that looks like a puzzle. Unless the puzzle is, can you get out of this place without breaking this your fucking spine thinking. under the sheer weight of garbage? Because if that is the puzzle, then I have already failed it long since. Uh, oh, that looks suspicious. <laughs> Are at your disposal. Oh, you bitch! Wait a moment. Ah. My ravaged fucking body. You did store explosives behind the breakable wall, didn't you? Yeah, fucking help me. I can hear more monsters, too. Nice. Thank you for the heal. What is that? I don't know what that is. Probably an orc or something. Okay. Um, drop the rotten meat. Uh, that's not of particularly great import. I know we're in the middle of battle and everything, lads, but uh, I just need to... Nope. I just need to hand out some more garbage. Risen, seriously, we're fighting here, I know, but here, take these ogre tooths and the gold and the silver. Literally, we are carrying a million tons of random stuff. Heresy's the question. Your burdens Fire's are mine to bear. <laughs> And this next one, uh, Janine is a Tarot CSR reader and more believable than Dev is on 2020. He is a good on Gamergate, but bad on government and how corrupt it can get. That sounds more or less correct, yes. Okay, let me just carefully go around the hole in the ground here. Flame! I see. Well. Go over there. Stupid gobrins. Stupid, dumb, foolish gobrins. Bringing me yet more garbage. I can bathe in slate-colored horns. Oh, 
Hi there. God, more Foley things? I'm... My health bar is not thanking me for all of the Foley things. Okay, where does this Foley thing lead then? Anything interesting? Would that we might always be so in step, eh? Uh... There's a rotten hunk of meat down there. Okay, never mind. We've been sidetracked enough. There's enough garbage in my inventory. Right, so appearing blue glow over there in the distance. Blue glow. Oh. It's a pretty chest. A rotten apple. Oh, fucking great. No, thank you. That's that re. Really? Really? Re really? That really? Really now? It was well worth the effort of breaking it. Was it? Was it really? At the end of your quest lies a rotten apple, sir. How do you feel? As if I want to find out who made this game and touch them viciously and violently in many, many different places. That's what I feel like. Um, I, I guess I go down the hole. I'm sick of falling on my face down holes though. Ow. Okay, that brings me back to the entrance. I'm confused. I was supposed to go in here to find something or some sort of puzzle. I haven't really... I haven't really come across anything I consider particularly puzzling so far. Except that you fall down a lot of holes, I guess. Have I been up here? I have, yes. Ha. I mean, I must have missed something here. I must have. Like, there's no fucking way. Okay. Am I expected to pick that up? If I must. I'm not quite as nimble as I'd like to be, but I suppose that's what I get for carrying so many things. I know, I know. You're all laden down with random garbage, I'm aware. Well, it did tell me to bring the most valuable thing. That was, that was the quest. Bring the most valuable thing in the dungeon. The rotten apple in the ornate box seems the obvious solution like what's the most valuable thing okay i put a rotten apple in an ornate box oh oh now hold on there's a box there too oh but it's too obvious that is too fucking obvious there's no way there you go there's another box whatever powers this vessel holds are clearly far from common but it does seem intended to carry something there might be some trick to using it this calls for a thorough inspection. Sealing file. Uh, does it... What does it look like? Does it look like anything? Where is it?
oily slime. Sealing file. Uh, with a remarkable interior, it boasts the unnerving ability to swallow people up, allowing them to be carried about with ease. Okay. It's got to be that, I think. Yeah, no, it has to be that. Okay, so let's hear me out here. Okay, so the 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 thing is, the riddle was eyes can lie, and so the most valuable thing has to be something that you don't see or perceive as valuable. Now that could be the apple, because the rotten apple in the golden box sounds like something that the eye cannot perceive the value of. But that's too fucking simple. It's too fucking obvious as well, okay? It's way too fucking obvious. Instead, what does the eye not see? The chest behind you. Because you don't see it. All you see is the blue glow ahead of you. I think it's the file. Because the rotten apple holds no value. They, that doesn't have any value, and so it's not that your eyes are lying to you. Your lie, your eye, lie, your lying eyes are telling you the truth. It's not, it's not valuable. It has to be the file. That's my solution. Come to test your wits. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which is of greatest value. Yeah, so it's the rotten apple or the ceiling file. It has to be the ceiling file, because the rotten apple has no value to me. It's like, the rotten apple has no value to me. The file kind of looks like her. It, it has to be the file. Hello there. So, this is your choice? The greatest worth your eyes describe? <laughs> well, now you're making me nervous, but yes. Hi. Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes see true. There we go. Okay, that was fucking nerve-wracking. Thank you. No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest and take this file too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. I like the Sphinx. The Sphinx is a cool little gameplay mechanic. Resounding success. Now, normally I fucking loathe the entire idea of fucking puzzles, but that was a, that was a that was a kind of a cool one. Right, please be something awesome. Ah, fucking woke stone. Don't get me wrong; those are valuable, but it's like ah oh god. I know. I never. Okay, chat. Do you feel rewarded when you are given a consumable? Something that is expended the moment you use it? I, is that... Is that something you like to get? It's like, oh hey! A temporary resource that disappears the moment I use it. I... <sighs> I don't know about that. Um... Um... Hmm... Alright, let's try another one. Come to test your wits. Riddle of madness. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. Okay, I mean, that's simple, right? Hello, Amazon woman. Come with me for a moment. Don't struggle. <laughs> I'm gonna feed you to this bird. Here. Do I, uh... <laughs> Do you... <sighs> Why are you being so mean? Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to me. So bring forth your most beloved to me. Is this your most beloved you bring before me? I mean, because that's my customized pawn, right? So, surely... Yeah. <laughs> yes? 
Well, well. Uh, Very good. Uh, thank you. Is that correct? Not half bad. Okay. Yet only one you bring. I thought you capable of more. A promise made, a promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. Well, well, color me surprised. I mean, I guess I could build a larger harem and bring them here. That would work too, but I don't know. It's like, I don't, I don't, I don't have a time for that. Not yet, at least. Maybe I'll bring you more waifus later. Uh, a port crystal? What the fuck is a port crystal? A mark can be placed anywhere one might wish to return. Use of pedestal will transmute there in an instant. Okay, that's nice. I mean, I feel like I'd want to put it here, honestly. Um, because, you know, is it a bonfire over there? It is. I mean, I feel like I would just put it here, because this seems like an awful long way to go, but... Um... Good to see you, Master. Good to see you, too. Let me... let me go rest by the bonfire real quick, actually, before I, you know, push my luck any fucking further. Is this place bereft of beasts and brigands both? Nope. I'm not to forget how to fight should this continue. There's some harpies up here, don't worry about it. And there's the giant sphinx statue. Well, statue. I uh, wish it was a statue. The giant sphinx woman over yonder. There's, uh, there's plenty of plenty of dangerous shit here if you need it. This have come See? Life. Told you. Come over here. No! I was going to intercept that! My spine. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, no. Hit it, hit it in the face. Wait right there. Did he shoot it? Oh. Thank you. Right, maybe we should uh, clear this place out a little bit before making camp up here. Just a, just a generalistic thought. Another cave? God, Emperor, fucking save me. I will never return to civilization at this rate. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Good shot. Okay, let's make camp. Uh, I. Oh, can I? What? No! I've got food, but it is on the other characters. Please. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident. And Damn it. I can't actually access their inventory, so I was kind of hoping I could do that and then make some food, but no. Turns out that one of the few things I didn't trash panda hard enough was food. Between. Speak up, if you've ought to say. I'd be glad to commiserate with anyone who's willing to share their blunders. Okay, well. Okay, that's, uh... I don't know if that saves. I hope that saves. I don't think I need the rotten apple anymore. Here, dummy mommy, yet more garbage for you to carry. Is that heavy? It kind of is. Right, 
I'm back to merely heavy again. Wait, I didn't discard that, did I? It isn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. Time no, it's just eat off map. Isn't necessarily time wasted. Okay, let's try some more riddles. What have you got for me now then, giant bird lady? Come to test your wits. The riddle of wisdom. The knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent. Such is the parent's due. Okay. I am a lost child. For kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent. That I might better learn. Hmm. A sphinx's parent. So. The parents know the child, but the child do not know the parent. Bring to me my parent. Bring to me my parent. So it's... So it must be somebody who... Am I? My brain is my brain is struggling with this one for some reason. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. So the parent must know the Sphinx, but the Sphinx must not know the parent. So I am not looking for another Sphinx. I am looking for someone who would recognize the Sphinx. But the Sphinx would not recognize in turn. Uh, I have no fucking idea about that one, actually. I mean, my, my immediate reaction would be a human. Because a human would know the Sphinx, yet the Sphinx would not know the human. Because obviously she's a Sphinx, so she can't be, you know, known... She can't know the human, surely. But what does that have to do with the parent? Because there must be some sort of... Parent bond between them? Because otherwise they wouldn't mention parent. A harpy? Nah, a monster? Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, master. It fucking does, Let's doesn't it? See. What can we do without? Uh, my theory at the moment is that there's got to be a character in the world with some sort of is there... there isn't a... there isn't a statue here or something. No, it wouldn't be a statue. It wouldn't be a statue because the statue wouldn't recognize either one. And if it was in the cave, she would probably t tell me. Is there anything around here? My theory is that it's probably a character or a pawn? Maybe? Or maybe it's a summonable. Because there's all kinds of porn wandering around, and I'm imagining some of them were probably made by the developers. 
All right, well, that finally gives me a brilliant excuse to return to the city, I guess. All right, where am I? Oh, Jesus, I am in the middle of fucking nowhere, aren't I? Oh, God. I, I am in the middle of fucking nowhere. I am hardcore in the middle of nowhere. I am hardcore in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Um, hmm. time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? It is, Sotella, I know, but I now I'm curious if I can do multiple riddles. Let me check that first, because that riddle I don't think I can solve here. I think that is something I'll have to solve later, which includes a long walk. One way or another. Hello, bird thing. I'm here to see if you can give me multiple riddles. Come to test your wits. Yes, I can. Okay, conviction then. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize and thence elude your ponderous demise. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize and thence elude your ponderous demise. Life is an enigma. So the, the question itself is... The riddle itself is a trick. Because that's the enigma. The enigma is a mystery. A lender of mortal debt. Debt. A lender. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. Challenge nimbly met. Lighter pack. So it's something I have on me. And a challenge nimbly met. Then salute your ponderous demise. I think it's asking me to give it something valuable. And I think that's just the challenge. It's for me to give... It's it's Moses uh, sacrificing his firstborn child. Not Moses, but... Um, who the fuck was it? Like, um, Cain and Abel, that stuff. Or was it Moses? Was it Moses? The sacrificing your firstborn child. And God will be like, No, 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 I didn't actually mean you should ch stab the kid. Like, fuck, dude. Calm down. Uh, so I... I mean... This? This thing? That's probably the most valuable thing I have on me, and I wouldn't necessarily care if it took it. Hmm. Chad is saying port crystal. I I don't I don't think it's the port crystal. Because getting rid of the port crystal would not make your it would not give you a nimbler travel. It would not make you fleeter of foot because you wouldn't be able to travel. Because uh, it's, it's a, it, it in and of itself is traveling, right? I th I think it's this. I think it's mo I think it's monetary value or something. It might also be weight. Lighter packs makes fleet of foot.
I think it's weight. Warblade. So, this is your prized possession. A most revealing choice. Do you consent to give it to me, knowing that it may never be returned? Yes, because that's part of the riddle. The riddle is you need to give something up. <laughs> fucking smile, though. Well, well. Very good. That's the spirit. Okay. Such generosity uh. deserves a reward, methinks. Why don't you take a peek in Yong chest? <laughs> this is fucking unnerving, though, the isn't it? Was somewhat overdone, but no matter. You're a scary little lady, you know that? They really got that, the, uh, the Sphinx down really well. Oh, Warblade. <laughs> was, <laughs> was that it? <laughs> oh, lovely. Uh, that's, that's fucking... <sighs> you little fucking whore. You little fucking whore. <laughs> uh, you little fucking bitch ass. <sighs> really? Really? That that was it? <sighs> fucking bitch. Okay, well that was uh that was that was certainly something. That was certainly something. Okay. Um No, don't do that. Um All right. Put it away. X. There you go. X. Come to test your wits. What's the last one? Riddle of rumination. Is ever the first we keep fond in our breast, and ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the seeker's tokens, I trust. Those keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Oh, God. Seven days, shall we say, ere you return? May your journey be a pleasant one. Oh, it's timed? Oh, Jesus, fuck me ungently. The first Seeker token I picked up? What the f- You think I remember that? Oh, my God. Um... Oh my fucking god. Service guarantees citizenship. No. No. That's fine. That's fine because I fucking streamed this shit. I know exactly where that token is because I fucking streamed this shit. <laughs> ah. Eat it, you dumbass sphinx. Of course, that's that's not pro that's no problem at all. I have the fucking vod for that. <laughs> you didn't reckon with that, did you, little Sphinx? <laughs> you didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Uh, <laughs> well, there you go. Simple dimple. Um, this next thing one. The Sphinx makes me feel funny. I really want game. Oh, okay. Yeah, you didn't think about that one, did you, bitch? You did not think about that one. The one tiny little bit, did you? Ah, oh, very nice.
service guarantees citizenship. All right, well, before I do that, uh, I do, I do, I do, I do want to get the fuck out of here, though. Um, right. So I started the game over there, and I can use an ox cart to return there. Seven days. It's a long f fucking walk. I should I should drop the I should drop the porty crystal here. Uh, because I have I have I've got three. Yeah, I've got three. Yeah, it wouldn't give me that for no reason. And besides, I imagine I'll come back here, maybe, I guess. Oh, you can pick it up! Oh, brilliant. Okay. Well, that makes that a lot less shitty then. Okay, fantastic. So it's literally just a mobile spawn or teleporty thing, basically. That's great. That is actually fantastic. Okay, how did you do this again? Uh, oh god, help me. Um... Uh... Good... Set port crystal. Because I... Oh god, no, because it's, it's a set port crystal, isn't it? So I could only use it to get back here. Okay, never mind then. I guess we're... I guess I'm... I guess I'm walking. I guess I'm fucking walking. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, no, it, it doesn't do that. Fuck, okay. God damn it. Use... Yep, there it is. Item. Wobble rock. Use. And there it is. Okay. Yeah, it yeah, no, it doesn't work like I thought it worked like this. Okay. Um And then we'll head back to Benworth, I guess. Whee! We've arrived well enough. Where to next? Nice. I guess I now sell off all the garbage and finally I lighten my packs. Bit I heard from the locals. If you refer to changes in the military's makeup, I've heard the same. Oh, um, yes. Uh, I, I possess no ill intent. I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own. You see, I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself, uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing, no matter how they fascinate me. It isn't to be. Oh, <laughs> I see. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. All right, sure. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. So. Oh. Well, I don't know. These, these, these are really interesting things here, but I could never, I could never have one of these. Game opens a screen. Would you like to give the elf a bow? <laughs> okay. Uh, reading it cast the spell Meteoron. Oh. All right. That sounds aggressive. Um. And violent. Okay, actually, never mind. Uh, you. Uh, your cheapest bow, please. Thank you. Always a pleasure. These foreign bows do so intrigue me. Again, this is the highest trust society ever depicted in video gaming. You simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, 
You have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. Ah, erectile dysfunction, but with arrows. I understand. It's a harsh thing that you're suffering there, little elf. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach... Oh, sweet baby Jesus, you're going to tell me your entire life story, aren't you? I'm not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. Uh-huh, you're pretty shit at bows, and you'll never get a girlfriend if you're shit at bows. I understand. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Uh-huh, and so you started looking into brown women. I get it. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? You see the enormous fucking sword on my back there, or hammer actually now? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I Sh this sure. Is no place to practice. That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. Hello, random stranger. Teach me the ways of the bow. I am but a stupid elf. Oh, Kidoki. This fucking world is so Come weird. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Oh, right. I wasn't going to do that. I was going to turn whatever garbage I could into stuff first. Stuff. Stuff and stuff. I will never get used to the way this game does its controls. A uh, drenching arrow? I, I mean, why not? Uh, Tarting arrow. Blighting arrow! That sounds useful. Question mark, question mark. Okay. Exquisite Roboront. Oh, an even better healing thing. Very well. That's just as well. Better to be selective than... Are you in the market for something in particular? I am. Now that I've used what I can use, I am just going to sell you... Literally all of the garbage I've been carrying around for this ages long, including these rotten grapes. Enjoy rotten grapes. Healing spell and uh, fire boon. I don't care about that one, but the meteor on one, that one I'm keeping. I guess I don't need the war blade anymore. Uh, standing experiment block an attack with the shield. Uh, meh. Service guarantees citizenship. Dummy mommy. Um, or oh, spider venom sack. I slate colored horn, copper or white copper filler. I've got loads of these, so I don't really know if they're valuable. Monster Fang, Small Fang. Oh wait, did it give me my... Did it give me the Warblade back, too? Oh, interesting. High Order Enchantment. I guess I'll save that, and the gladiator's helmet. 
Copper ore is worth more than gold in this universe, correct? Harmonic Drive. Hey, Arch. I try well and hard to gatekeep a Lego community from Wokeness. The moderator of the group told me she feels scared to critique female Star Wars openly because people tell her she is just jealous. Well, um... No? <laughs> what would be my response? It's like, what, are you retarded? No. I'm not jealous. It's fucking political. Shut up. Uh, that would be my my response. Just a nice Chad no, fuck you. Always a pleasure. Alright. The pack hoarding rat in me refuses to uh sell anything else. I think I'm just going to shove it all into the enormous fucking storage I've got going here. What about well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to... Hello there, person. I have come to deliver another 50 fucking tons worth of random garbage. How the fuck you store all of this? I do not and will never know, but you do, so... Good for you. Well, I can give that one up. But, sir, have you really come here to deliver another 200 pounds of random stuff? I only have so much storage, sir. Well, that sounds like a you problem. Here, have this rotten pear or whatever. And you will keep it until I come to claim it. Or I will fucking murder you. Uh, I'm still heavy. God. Um, I guess it's just because the all of the dumbass armor I'm wearing. That fucking stick is 10 kilograms. My armor is not exactly light either. Yep, the rest is just that my armor is stupidly heavy. The foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. You know where to find me. I will never sleep at your inn. Never once. I will never even consider sleeping at your inn. Ever. At any point in time. Gather round, gather round. What did you think of that story? What? It was well told and all, what? but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I what? don't tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? What? No, I'm not keeping an eye on the beggar. Like you, video game. Off we go, back to where we came from. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They Don't they just? They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. In every age, when the arisen hence, horns are true not to mention, they are skilled, tis clear, their concept. Well, who are you? Are you, are you not the person I need to talk to for a ride? Handsome beast. Oh, you. This ox cart's bound for Mel. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. But I want to sit. I do not wish to speak. I wish to sit. This Thank ladder you. can take us to new heights. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Aha! Uh -huh. mm. Yes, thank you, chat. Do it. 
Chat knows where I found my first Seekers token. Oh, hi. Well, that was... Oh, don't worry, it's just a Cyclops. They're quite, they're quite simple. Look as I bury my mallet in its anus. This one is never even wearing armor. Pathetic. In fact, honestly, the Lizardman might be a bigger danger. Hello, big boy. It's time for me to hit you in the face until you die. Or, or I can just lag through the fucking environment. That's also a div as well. That poor Lizardman. You ambushed the wrong fucking caravan, boy. No, oh, yes, yes, I can kind of reach him. I can kind of reach him. Ah, he's got the high ground advantage. That's why this is so difficult. Surrender, Anakin. I've got the high ground. Well. Unfortunately, you elected to attack a wagon filled with mages and archers and... Too bad. A formidable foe. Considering the might of our combined experience, what other outcome could there have been? I feel like I should be given extra money for doing this. Hang in there, master. <laughs> the ox cart just left. Like, ah, it's fine, just leave them. Leave them be. I'm sure they can handle it, Cyclops. Who gives a shit about them anyways? Right. And there we are. Okay, so I found it at 1.30. 1.30. God, I wish I'd opened the map. 1.30. I think... It might, might it be up there? God, that is an awful little quest. Uh, where the hell am I? I am... Where the hell am I? No, I'm somewhere completely different. Oh, let's see. I'm going to open the map. Jesus. How the fuck am I going to find that? How the actual... God help me. No, not that map. The other map. The, uh, the other, other map. That map. Okay. So I was up there. Jesus. Here, strike with lightning on your side. This quest has got to be the worst kind of fucking quest. Says so like, hey, do you remember where you picked up a specific thing? No. Well, <laughs> I guess you're actually just unironically fucked. Yeah. I see not even the arisen could... I don't like you. Go away.
That is a mean, 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 mean little fucking quest. And to give you a fucking time limit on it as well, seven days. Now that's just to stress you the fuck out at that point. It is this way, as I recall, from my last sojourn beyond the rift. Really? Ah, oh, yes. I know where we need to go. A rift Very stone. Well. I'll guide you there directly. I suppose we'll just have to go where we're bid. Good thing we're used to thinking on our feet. I do love this mechanic, by the way. It's a really cool mechanic. The idea that your pawns are like gone out without you and with other people and found all kinds of cool shit is really, like really faster. awesome. Just bear in mind that I shan't be able to climb back up again. Good. We're here. Yay! Riftstone. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm. That's great, but go away. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Thank you, Via. Uh, it's not like my packs are already overflowing or anything. This is. Stop in to punch! Somehow, I don't think these goblins are going to be ow, quite that dangerous anymore. And no, they're not. Let my magic goblins. Imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Oh, vocation rank up. Right. Uh, I was up. There, that is not the map I wanted. Right, I am in roughly the same area now. So now I just need to see where the fuck I went from there. I think, I think it might be up there. God, this is such an asshole, quest. This is such an asshole, this quest. Like, who the fuck even remembers this shit? It's like, hey, do you remember the first time you picked up this random thing that you don't even know what is at the time? Yes, no! Process. How the fuck am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> Unless you're one of those autistic people that can paint pictures in you your own head. Material. In which case, good for you. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Yes. Yes, this was it. This was it. Yep, there it is. There it is. Find us token. Right. Brilliant. Plentiful hereabouts. Thank you, chat. Okay, in that case, we're just gonna... Spank it right back there and use up all of our 40 crystals. Hello, dear. Actually, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that was... No, I shouldn't have done that because I could have... Oh, no, I should have checked the rift thingy for the other thing. No... Why? <sighs> Come to test your wits. Sort of, yes. Seekers' tokens are treasures indeed. Keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retra ah, I see I needn't have worried. I mean, there is no wrong question to this one, so. And well found. I guess she doesn't eat me. I trust it was a pleasant job. As promised, you shall have your prize. Look for it in yon chest. Thank you, bird lady. I like you. Not bad. All things considered. 
Oh, fair sounds. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, fairy stones. Fucking lovely. Yeah. Great. Great. Oh, God, fucking me. Uh, well, I mean, that is kind of what I needed, so I, I guess. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yep. Thank you. <sighs> okay, I am enjoying these. guide you there from our current location. This is... It's mildly retarded, but I appreciate it nevertheless. Alright. I will wrap it up here for today then, and I'm going to explore my well, ideas for finding that pawn, because I'm presuming... I have no objections. What, what I was going to do, before I forgot about it, was I was going to check at one of the rift stones. If it was possible to summon a pawn uh, with Sphinx in the name or something like that. So, we'll see. I will do that off screen and then I will return to you once I have discovered the solution to my riddle. And then, then we will have all the solutions to the bad I lady. You, Master, but Actually, he's a good lady. I like the bird. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? He's a good bird lady. Until next time, chat, thank you all very much for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon, probably tomorrow. Until then, have a good day.